DX Dampin' Sharon. I have a great video to share with you today. Lots of tips and tricks. We are making a Christmas card and I've got some other pretty ones to show you. If you're new to my channel, I want to welcome you. I invite you to subscribe below and then hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video or I go live on YouTube. If you currently already don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you with your Stampin' Up! supply needs. You can find out how to contact me, my blog, sign up for my newsletter, visit my store, all in the description box below. Just click the read more button. Let's get started with some Stampin'. I don't think anything says Christmas to me more than poinsettias. I love to get the poinsettia plants and have them around my house. So the poinsettia play suite is gorgeous and i just wanted to go over a few things first there's the the designer series paper the poinsettia place designer series paper and then there's this beautiful plush velvety vellum paper i don't know how else to say it um, and then we have these beautiful uh, beaded pearls so i'm going to be using some of these um, on my project today but i want to talk to you about this and the stamp set and the dies. I have some tips to share with you that I hope you find helpful because I know it has saved me a lot of time. And when we're paper crafting, we're all about saving time, right? If you live in the United States and you do not have this holiday mini catalog, you can contact me below the video. Just click the read more button, go to my blog, hit the contact me uh, tab, Send me your complete mailing address. I'll be more than happy to put one of these in the mail to you for free. But you have to live in the United States. So here's the stamp set, like I said. And then here are the dies. Now here's the first tip that I'm going to share with you. Do you see my dies? I know, they're a little dirty looking, right? So Stays On is a solvent ink pad. It's kind of like a Sharpie. So I'm not sure how long this is going to last on my dies, but I thought I would give it a try. You could also use, say, fingernail polish. Um, I, in the past, I have tried putting just a little Sharpie dot, but this time I actually took the die and put it on the ink pad, okay? And that's how I marked my dies. So I marked both of them, and I'm telling you, it saved me so much time. I took the stamp. Let's just take one of these stamps. And I did a mark, once you have figured out, let me just show you here. So once you have figured out, because you're gonna be turning this die, you're gonna go, is it that one, is it that one? You could turn it five times before you find the right way that it matches up with the stamp, which is what I started doing and it was driving me crazy so that's when I pulled out the Sharpie, marked it, pulled out my stays on, marked it, okay? Again, I don't know how long this is gonna last running it through my die cutting machine, but I wanted to try it and see. If it doesn't last long, I will probably grab some fingernail polish, but I know some people may not have fingernail polish, but if you have your stays on black ink pad, you could use that. I also went ahead and did it for the leaves because you could flip it twice. You know, when you've got it on here, you'd be flipping it twice. So why not? If we're marking everything, let's just mark our leaves as well. So I hope this helps you because I'm telling you, it saved so much time. When I started doing it, I was like, oh, this is, this is so much better. So now let's talk about this paper. This paper just feels so amazing. So we have... Um, the poinsettias, the, the large ones and the small ones, and then we have the leaves. So since we have our dies out, the smaller of the leaf die will cut out your leaves and give you this. Pretty cool, huh? And then this die will cut out the flowers. And I didn't line this up to match anyway, but see how I'm having to turn it? Which way does it line it up? Oh, there we go. You see what I'm saying about the whole turning thing? So these are beautiful on their own, but wait, there's more. You can take a sponge dauber, 
and your ink. I'm going to tap that off. And you can color these as dark as you want. So we can just keep adding the ink. It will make it darker. So just one more thing that you can do with these, uh, with this vellum. Look how pretty. There you go. Again, darker ink, add more ink, whatever you want to do to give it the shading that you want. Okay, so I have one more tip to share with you. We're going to go ahead and start making our card, but I want you to see the difference. I, um, hold on. When you use the center part, it embosses like veins, the detail of the flowers. Now you can kind of see it on this one. This was using regular Whisper White cardstock. I wanted a deeper look, so I pulled out my Whisper White thick and look at the difference. Let's put them side by side. I hope you can see on the video the difference. This is so much more pronounced than this one is, so much prettier. So again, whisper white thick, whisper white. So I have my card measurements. I've already pre-cut everything for you. My uh, poinsettia place designer series paper is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. My soft suede is my soft suede is three inches by four inches. My old olive is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Another piece of designer series paper is two and a half by four. I have a piece of Whisper Watt that is four inches by five and a quarter. And I have my old olive that is four and a quarter by 11 scored at two and three quarters and five and a half to give me a Z fold card. I've already cut out some of the, um, the greenery with the with the brush metallic and I've cut out my center. So now we're gonna assemble our card. I'm putting the Whisper White layer on the inside. Okay, so those of you who have been joining me for Mystery Monday stamping might recognize this fun fold that we did on a mystery stamping. Mystery stamping is done every Monday at 4 p.m. here on YouTube on my channel. And together we solve the clues. Together we work the clues and we solve the mystery of making a card. And really, making a card is not mysterious. It's just a fun, interactive thing to do with other stampers. So if you've not joined me yet for a Mystery Monday, I hope you will. All right, so we're gonna add our layers together. I, I love this, it's a love-hate relationship. You know, it holds really good, but man, you have to just be patient with it. And I think on my videos, I'm not as patient. <laughs> I want it to work and I want to put the card together but you'll notice I'm just adding little bits of it because it's so strong it doesn't take much but as you can also see I have to advance it with my finger uh, let's see we want this one this way we'll do that okay now I'm going to add this to the card front like this and I only want adhesive on this side. I don't want to glue my card shut. So I'm going to pick this up right here. And I know that on this side, I need to add my adhesive. Just doesn't want to stick right there. Come on. You ever talk to your adhesive? <laughs> oh, la. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So we're gonna add this. We're just centering it on the base itself. 
And now we're gonna assemble our card. And I have both sizes of the dimensionals. And I'm gonna use a big one because I have found that by um, putting the dimensionals between the layers, it makes my poinsettia look more 3D. Oh, did I tell you I have some more to show you? I was playing with the red and green foils, which I'm kind of addicted to. Um, and so I, I made a poinsettia with the red foils. All right, so we have that. So see how it just lifts that up a bit? Um, let's see, I pulled out the minis because I'm not quite sure. Let's just see, I don't think. Ha ha, it does work. There you go, you can't see it. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that I couldn't see the dimensional uh, between the petals. So we're just offsetting these petals to give it a, a more of a 3D effect and a more realistic look. So we have that done. I'm gonna put a dot of liquid glue in the center. Use the other end of my take your pick tool that I, you know, it took a bit to get used to a new tool, just like it's taken me time to get used to that uh, seal plus, but using both ends, I mean, it was kind of like, it's kind of a bigger tool, but I've gotten so used to it. And I love this end that will just pick up sequins, jewels, the center of my poinsettia, just super easy. So now we want to add our fronds. I don't know, what do you call these? What are they called? Berry stick thingies. So we're going to decide where do we want. Now, I, I have decided before the video that I'm not going to do my stamping on the front. I want to showcase that gorgeous designer series paper. And I really wanted this to be the focal point. You know, sometimes we always think we have to put the sentiment on the front. But you know, if you look at, I call them Brand X cards, the ones that you used to buy at the store when y'all did that, not all of them had something on the front. And I used to call those like a note card, but this is just art. This is gorgeous. And I wanted everything to be, you know, I wanted this to be the focus of the card, not necessarily what it said, but we're gonna still do some stamping. So don't, don't leave me just yet. So I kind of like how this looks. Um, we may even extend that a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to add some adhesive to the to the bottoms of these. Just going to use some liquid glue. I could use my fine tip glue, but I didn't grab that before the video started. So I'm going to kind of hover over. Where do I want that? Okay, we're going to do it again. Where is my silicone craft sheet? That's what I need. Doing acrobats up here in the air. It is right here. Let's grab that for the next one. I don't know. I, was, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so I'm going to kind of hover. Get this one going this way. I just want to hover over to make sure that I don't go off. We want it to fit in the envelope. This will be way better than trying to do acrobats in the air. Uh oh, just realized that one didn't poke out. See how convenient that tool is. Do y'all have this take your pick tool? I think it was a brilliant tool that they in invented because like I said, I, I use it all the time. Cannot get rid of that little chad. All right. And you know that the silicone craft sheet, nothing will stick to it. I even tried, to, I think I told y'all once, if you've watched me for a hot minute, um, my husband was using, what's that stuff called? Gorilla glue. And I go, whoa, 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 not on my cabinet, not on my countertop. And so we pull, I went and got this and um, even Gorilla glue will come off of it. Just saying, Gorilla glue, liquid glue, hot glue, um, all right, so we're gonna kind of put this here. Very pretty. Ooh, I like how that did that. Does that look all right? I like that. Okay, 
All right, so now we're gonna add some glue all over and we're just going to stick this straight down because the dimensionals between our poinsettia have already made this card have personality. We don't need to have any more personality. Is there such a thing as that? All right, so we're just gonna add some glue. Absolutely stunning, if I do say so myself. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. Now I want white poinsettias. I've always had the red ones. All right, let's do some stamping. So I'm using soft suede because I use the soft suede layer here. I prefer to stamp my sentiments with darker inks. Do y'all? Like I'll use um, like black or soft suede instead of say my greens. I don't know, it's just it's one of those weird things. All right, so what we want to do is when we're stamping on the inside, we have this whole room right here. See how much white space we have? We have a lot of space to do our sentiment. So I, I went ahead and chose a larger sentiment from the stamp set. And I'm gonna kinda do it, well, let's see if we can do it straight with my head. Oh the camera. <laughs> Somebody needs to come and hold the camera so that I am not getting it, getting my head. I hope this is straight. Oh gosh, hate that. But the camera is right where my head needs to be. Okay, so we have, see how we can't see our sentiment? But do y'all see my smudge? Where'd that come from? Who knows? All right, let's do one more tip. Unplanned tip. Best thing they invented since last bread. I'm just saying. A sand and pink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the best thing they ever invented was a sand and pencil eraser. I have tried to do that three times, guys, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to own it. I'm going to tell you that I called it a sand and pink eraser mm -hmm. because it is an ink and pencil eraser. I was trying to combine all my words and I had to do three takes of that part before I could stop laughing. Okay. So you I, see how much I've used the gray in? I don't even think I've used the white in, but to, for little smudges like that, uh, it is great. Where do you get this? Amazon, office supply stores. Uh, just Google that. It is an ink and pencil eraser, or sand and pencil eraser. See, it says ink and pencil. I don't know why they had to put that sand word in there. It threw me off. All right, let me show you my other cards that I have made for y'all. I told y'all I was playing with the red and green foils. Look how pretty. This card I did do a little different. I did not add my layers the same, so the measurements are, are a little bit different. And the reason is... I could kind of I could kind of match the real red, but I wasn't happy with any of my green colored cardstocks. So I just omitted a layer. But see, it's basically the same. Opens the same, okay? And I used those gorgeous pearls. I popped them on with glue dots. I actually added I think I added two or three because they're kind of heavy and I didn't want them to fall off my card. So here's the card that I shared on Mystery Monday stamping a couple of weeks ago. Um, on this one, I did add the three layers. I did a smaller sentiment and I added Wink of Stella with those gorgeous pearls. My leaves, I colored, I stamped them with soft suede and then I colored them with a soft suede, um, the light uh, stamp and blend for my pet. Uh, <laughs> for my poinsettia. See, there I go again. I was laughing. I'm so sorry. Okay, we got to stop that. For my poinsettia, I stamped it. Um, I believe I also stamped it in soft suede. And then I colored over with the light and the dark stamp and blends. So with Stampin' Blends, in the beginning, we were told that you had to stamp with um, memento ink and then use the blends or they would bleed. 
You can use other colors, just be careful and don't do a whole lot of heavy coloring because it could smear your image. But I hope that you are inspired with the poinsettia bundle because I think it is gorgeous and so many different ways to use it. These, I cut out the dies. I didn't even stamp the flowers. This one, I stamped the, the one big poinsettia. Um, this one, I chose not to use leaves. These two I did. This one I used the berries. Just so many things you can do with this bundle. Happy stamping, y'all.